I was asked to do a video showing how VistaSculpt handles converting a real photo to a 3D model. Today I'm converting the official portraits of the US presidential candidates to a 3D model that I will then engrave on each side of the coin. In VistaSculpt I'm going to import the image one at a time and then edit the image so we can get a good crop that's really like a traditional bust. So we're going to zoom in, apply some crop on the left, right, up and down until we get a nice centered image that's really just the head and shoulder shot. Once that's done, we'll apply that and we're going to play with the depth scale and it's really important for that to go to one and the Z limit to go to 100 because we don't have a lot of room to play when we engrave a coin. And here's what the 3D generated image looks like. So it's nice and flat and we've got all of the detail compressed into a very small area. From here we're going to export it out once we've made it whole and we're then going to edit it in 3D Builder. Here we are in 3D Builder, we've imported the VistaSculpt um, STL and we're just going to clean it up a little bit. So we're going to do a bit of trimming, uh, just split out some of the rough details on the edges and we're going to now place a just a cylinder over it so we can actually cut out just the segment we want. So making sure we cover the head down to the pin on the lapel, a couple of the shoulders gets covered and then we're going to intersect it and we get a model of, in this case, Kamala. Now I've already pre-made the text I want so we've got the year, the name and I have a template for a uh, 0.3 millimeter sphere that we're going to use for the actual engrave later and we're going to subtract the details we just did looks horrible here because it's actually at uh, 3 mil not 0.3 but I'll now reduce that to 0.3 mil and as you can see that now looks pretty reasonable there we go we have a Harris and we have a Trump now it needs a bit of a clean up. Right, so there we have, it's all cleaned up. We've got a Kamala. And we've got a Donald. The only question is, who's going to win the election?